coming up in this video, uh, v vanilla vodka inspiration. This is all shades of magical. Welcome back, drinks fans. Welcome back, vodka lovers. Today's emphasis focus is on vanilla vodka. I got asked a couple of times actually, because uh, I did my Porn Star Martini series uh, a few weeks ago, uh, pro probably about a month or so ago now, um, but, and I was concentrating on vanilla vodka and people were asking, have you got any more? So I thought I'd add to this, but this will come under vodka and I'll link to the Porn Star Martini stuff. Uh, this very, very simply uh, is a kind of vanilla mojito. Who says uh, mojitos have to be rum? Uh, the cocktail police, if, fair enough, come and get me, come and get me. Um, but I absolutely love this. There's a couple of little flips and tri trips and riffs. So that's not the word I was looking for. Flips, twists, that's the word I was looking for. Flips, twists and riffs uh, coming in there. A bit of inspiration. I didn't go with my original recipe. I kind of changed something out. This though, it is proper banging. Pineapple, pineapple and vanilla is like my favorite. Whenever I get asked to do mocktails, pineapple and vanilla mojitos are always my go-to because I flipping well love them. Right then, let's run you through the ingredients for this. Obviously, I've got my vanilla vodka. Any vanilla vodka would do. You could even use plain vodka and vanilla syrup. Uh, play so many different directions you could go for this cocktail. It's just an easy peasy one. My sugar, I've written down normal sugar. I've just thought my feet, I went for the brown sugar and I thought, I oh, know, I'm just for, just pure for inspiration. I'll show you what you can do. I'm going for cinnamon um, sugar syrup in there. I've got my favorite uh, kind of pineapple soda uh, going on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I've got some freshly squeezed lime juice because you don't even need to bother muddle down the limes if you don't want to. I've got some pineapple juice and mint. Just pure other inspiration you could do. Uh, I've got pineapple uh, liqueur there. Obviously, this will work, work with rum as well, but I just wanted to go the whole vanilla vodka. It's just a really, really simple one, this. So, uh, as I say, we do not need to do any muddling. This is just going to be straightforward in the glass jobby. Uh, so, I'm going to go for 30 ml, one ounce of lime, which will traditionally be one lime if you are going to muddle down. And you can, if you muddle down, you get the, you do get the nice sort of zesty citrus oils out, but you don't, you don't need to worry most of the time. Uh, what should we go now? I'm going for the, the syrup now, just so I'll wash the shaker out. So 15 ml, I always go two one half for my mojitos. That's perfect for me, sort of similar daiquiris. So two one half, two parts booze, one part citrus, half a part sugar. Feel free, if the cocktail doesn't taste right at the end, it's just your sugar levels. You just need to add a tiny bit more sugar. That is it. So uh, I'm going for 15 ml, half an ounce of cinnamon sugar. As I say, plain sugar, vanilla sugar, pineapple sugar, brown sugar, whatever. Get crazy, get crazy. Uh, right, I'm going for my vodka now. Uh, so I'm going 60 ml, double bubble. Let's pop it up on there, double bubble. Uh, two ounces of vanilla vodka. Mojito, who says mojitos have to be rum anyway? Hey, 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 cocktail please, come and get me. Come and get me. Right, uh, I've done that, I'm going for 30 ml. One ounce of uh, pressed, pressed pineapple juice. Not from concentrate, pressed. It tastes better. Trust, trust me, trust me. Right, 30 ml uh, of pressed pineapple juice. Let's pop that back down there if we've used that and that. Right, um, I'm going for spread. Look at all this mint. That's a perfect garnish. Right, if your mint is a whopper, my God, my mint in the garden isn't quite there yet. It's, it's nearly there. Uh, so this is just supermarket mint at the moment. I want about eight of these mint leaves. If they're smaller and they're little diddy ones like that, you want about 10 to 12. But uh, for this this size, because they're whoppers, eight to 10, don't go putting it in the glass and muddling it and really muddle it. You can br lightly bruise it if you want to, but don't, you know, don't muddle it. Don't bash the hell out of it. Palm your hand, give it a, drop one on the floor. Palm your hand, give it a spank and then just pop it in your glass like that. That's all you need to do as a drop one. Let's have another spank. There we go, and just pop that in. Jobs are good. And then I've got my pineapple soda there. They never put the li labels right, the right way around on these. We get it. There we go. Love this stuff. I'm not going to use much, but it means I can I can drink the rest of it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going for 30 ml. If you want, if you want slightly more, be my guest. Do two ounces, but I just want one ounce. 30 ml. 60 ml. <laughs> Why not? Why not? It's my cocktail. I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, right now, um, this, you know, I tend to do, when I do my masterclasses, I tend to start off with just cubed ice. I really do. Two, three bits of cubed ice, maybe four. We've got a nice size glass there. You don't want to fill it up because we're going to stir it. We're going to, normally, especially if you had limes in there, you're just going to churn it, bring all the limes to them. But we're just going to stir it up. 
So obviously if you're full of ice, you're just gonna spill it everywhere. So give it a good stir. Oh my word. Oh, oh, oh my word. Um, and I'm still, I'm still rocking out. You can tell, you can tell what my filming sessions are if you've watched videos from like four or five days ago. I've still got my little, my little Coke can ice, ice scoop. <laughs> I quite like it actually. I might stick with it. I might stick with it. It's good, isn't it? Right. There we go. Uh, and then just to garnish that sprig of mint that you saw earlier, back of your hand just to wait the aromas. And I have got one left over here. Little chunk of pineapple. Well then, if you want even more vodka inspiration, dive into one of my playlists and videos up on screen right there. As always, if you like me, if you like the video, big old thumbs up, do it. And if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. You've been told.